It's the kind of scene a movie director would want to avoid at his brand new film's premiere. But on Tuesday at a Parisian advanced screening of Roman Polanski's An Officer and a Spy, dozens of women staged a protest denouncing the French-Polish director. Polanski has been fleeing the U.S. justice system since he admitted to the statutory rape of a 13-year-old girl in 1977. New accusations emerged last week, however. French actress and photographer Valentine Meunier accused Polanski of, quote, beating her into submission and raping her in 1975 when she was 18. Protesters at Tuesday's premiere say the movie opening as scheduled is a slap in the face to all rape victims. It's very serious because it spits in the face of all the victims who dare to speak out. It spits on all the other victims of rape. Not victims of Polanski, but victims in general. That a man like that can still speak and that people will pay money to support him. In the run-up to Wednesday's release, all of the interviews by the film's main actors have been cancelled or pulled. And as of now, the movie has yet to find an American distribution company in order to release the feature in the United States. Du gouvernement militaire de Paris a reconnu le nommé Dreyfus Alfred coupable. The officer and a spy, which is known in France as J'accuse or I accuse, reenacts one of the major political events of French contemporary history: how Alfred Dreyfus, a Jewish officer, was wrongly accused of being a spy by the French army at the turn of the 20th century. Many activists have accused Polanski of trying to establish a parallel between Dreyfus, the hero of his new film, and himself. Roman Polanski has refused to comment since the new allegations emerged. His lawyer says he continues to deny all allegations.